soldier from the 102nd Russian military base in Gumri, Armenia has been detained along the lines of the criminal case into the beating of a 57-year-old woman to death in the city. Arvi Kachadaryan, head of the Public Relations Division at the Prosecutor's General's Office, informed this in response to a respective query by Past Info. A female worker from the Housing and Environmental Protection Department of the Gumri City Hall was brutally beaten in a street street on December the 3rd. According to preliminary information, the woman had gone to work at early dawn, but someone had followed her and subsequently brutally beaten this woman. The woman was taken to hospital where she was diagnosed with brain injury, but she could not be saved and was pronounced dead. The investigative body has submitted a new petition to the Yerevan General Jurisdiction Court to extend the arrest of retired General Manuel Grigorian for another two months. Grigorian fell ill during the hearing of the petition and an ambulance was called. He received medical assistance there and the examination continues. Manuel Grigorian was arrested on June the 19th. He is charged with unlawfully keeping weapons and ammunition and committing heart scale embezzlement. At least 22 members of a criminal gang, which consisted of Georgian, Armenian and Azerbaijani citizens, were detained in Lyon, France. On December 10, a large-scale special operation was held in Lyon, France, following which 22 members of an organized criminal group operating in France and Belgium were arrested, Georgia's Ministry of Internal Affairs reported. The Armenian parliament will not elect the prime minister once the new national assembly is formed. According to the constitution, after the formation of the parliament, the Armenian president appoints the prime minister candidate proposed by the majority. Proceeding from Article 150, the cabinet is formed after the appointment of the prime minister within 15 days, while after the formation of the government, its leader must submit within 20 days to the national assembly a program of the cabinet of ministers. According to preliminary data, the first session of the new parliament will be convened on December 24th. Anush Balasanyan, her daughter Vahanu Shagopian and 12-year-old grandson have died early Tuesday morning in a fire in Stepanavan, town of Armenia's Lori province, the Stepanavan City Hall informed. The initial cause of the fire was a short circuit the city hall added. It will be clearer only after the investigation. Balasanyan's son, David Hagopian, was injured in the fire. He is in critical but stable condition and he will be transferred to capital city Yerevan. On Tuesday at 6.33 a.m., the 911 emergency hotline received a report that fire had broken out in an apartment of a building in Stepanavan. It was found out that the fire had broken out in an apartment of a two-story wooden building. French President Emmanuel Macron has declared a state of emergency in the country over the Yellow Vests crisis, Tass reported. First of all, I would like to declare a state of economic emergency in the country, he said in a televised address to the nation on Monday. The French leader condemned the acts of violence committed by protesters against police during Yellow Vests riots. He also called for calm and order in the country. I believe together we will be able to find a way out of the crisis, he said. German Chancellor Angela Merkel sent a congratulatory letter to Acting Prime Minister of Armenia Nikol Pashinyan, the press service of the Prime Minister's office reported. The United States also congratulates the people of Armenia on the conduct of their December the 9th parliamentary elections. This is said in a press statement by the deputy spokesperson of the U.S. Department of State. The European Union, the EU, looks forward to working with the democratically elected new parliament and the future government of Armenia. The spokesperson for EU foreign affairs and security policy, European neighborhood policy and enlargement negotiations has issued a statement to this effect and on the snap parliamentary elections that were conducted in Armenia. 